Okay, in the last video we talked about uh, math operators. In this video I want to talk about comparison operators. And a comparison operator is just what it sounds like. It compares one thing to another thing. And most of the time we're going to be comparing two different variables. There are several comparison operators you need to sort of memorize. And they are equal to, not equal to, oops, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. So two equal signs, exclamation point. In fact, let's just go ahead and comment these out. Equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. And if you've done any work with logic in the past, uh, you're familiar with all of these things. So this one is a little bit tricky. It, it messes people up a little bit because right here we've used equal to and it's just one equal sign. Here we've got two equal to signs and I'm saying this means equal to, but these aren't the same thing. They're two different things. With one equal sign, we are assigning the value 35 to this variable. With this, we are comparing two variables, right? So if both of these variables are 35, I could say number one, is equal to number two, right? This is a statement and it's true. Now, why would I wanna do this? Well, a lot of times we do if else statements. If this, do that. And we'll get into if else statements very shortly here. But a lot of the times you wanna compare something in order to determine whether or not to do something else. If number one is equal to number two, do this. If it's not, do something else. Well, in order to determine that, we need to use the double equal to sign. And likewise, we could, you know, we could run something that asks is, are they not equal? Is number one greater than number two? Is it less than? Is it greater than or equal to? Is it less than or equal to? So these are the type of thing you just want to, you're going to want to remember these, write it down, something, this is something you're going to use all the time because we're going to be using if else statements a lot. It doesn't really matter what programming language you use, you're always going to be using if statements, if else statements. And in order to do that, you need comparison operators. And these are Perl, or these are PHP's comparison operators. Very simple, very straightforward. And we'll get into this more a couple of videos from now when we start talking about if else statements. But just for right now, familiarize yourself with them. And uh, that's all for this video. And if you want to get my entire PHP course absolutely free, head over to codemy.com slash free PHP. That's codemy.com slash free PHP.